What is up, guys? Mr. The Reverts here. Welcome back to the channel. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now three days away from the release of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. I'm super duper excited. Hopefully, for those of you guys who are getting a next gen console right now, we're able to secure your hands on one before the game does come out. But now, across all platforms, PC, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and next gen consoles, you can officially preload both Black Ops Cold War Warzone and multiplayer in order to have everything installed, ready to go come launch day on Friday. But we are at that same time right now where people are starting to receive early copies of Black Ops Cold War. And I've actually even seen some leaked multiplayer gameplay footage, but Treyarch and Activision are over here making 200 IQ plays because there actually isn't a way for leakers to play campaign or play zombies. The only thing available right now is an offline multiplayer version of the game. There's very, very basic um, maps, weapons, perks, etc. Pretty much everything that's inside of this offline multiplayer is content we have seen in the alpha or the beta. There's no brand new footage of maps, there's no new weapons we've never seen before, uh, new perks, etc. Which again is a super smart move by Treyarch. But there is a way for you to actually play if you have preloaded the game, I believe you got to make like your account into like some Australian account. You, you, it, there's just a whole lot of steps you got to take. I don't think it's worth it in my opinion, but there are videos on YouTube that show you how to do it. But again, in my opinion, I don't think it's worth it. Just for the sole reason, there really isn't anything new besides a will that you can bring up to inspect your weapon. I can't show any footage of that because Activision is actually sending out DMCA cease and desist orders for those who have already leaked that footage. Um, but yeah, there is this gesture wheel and that could possibly expand to something similar to Black Ops 4 where you can use different gestures for your character or maybe it could just be limited to your weapon only and you could do multiple unique gestures of the same weapon you're using, who knows. And there's also a setting that will allow you to play any theme main menu music from any of the Call of Duty series, which is insane to think about. Like if you want, you can go back and play the OG Black Ops 1 or Black Ops 2 music while editing your custom classes, stuff like that. I think is pretty insane. So yeah, everything right now is locked. And honestly, Treyarch and Activision might even be able to identify those players who have bypassed the preload menu and could possibly even strike the ban hammer on those accounts. So again, I don't know if it's worth it. I'm not gonna tell you how to do the method, but there are some videos on YouTube that showcase that. So sometime this week, maybe even a few hours before release day, Treyarch is gonna be sending out a patch that will turn on the servers and let everybody in to play the game. However, sometime this patch does roll out a day or two before release day, so possibly come a Wednesday or Thursday, we are probably gonna see some zombies gameplay, maybe some stuff about campaign as well, and get a better look of what's to come on Friday. Now again, PC preloading is available, and it's possible that data miners are gonna figure out how to get inside of the game and spoil parts of the campaign or zombies, so just to issue a quick warning for those of you guys who don't wanna see any spoilers of campaign or zombies, I would stay off Reddit and Twitter for this week. But yeah, guys, I wanted to really upload this video to let y'all know about all this information. Again, I'm going to be doing a giveaway for an Elgato HD60S capture card over on my Twitter. All you got to do is just follow me to be entered for a chance to win. And yeah, good luck to you guys over there. You can follow me at Mr. The Reverts. But yeah, tell me your thoughts about this down below in the comments. What are your thoughts about all this leaked uh, gameplay footage? Have you seen anything? And just the method to bypass. Do you think it's worth it or not? Uh, tell me your thoughts down below in the comments. Thanks for watching. If you guys want to see more, feel free to subscribe and click the bell icon so you can't miss out on a single video. Also, feel free to come hang out with me in my Discord server, Twitch stream, and over on Twitter. Links can be found down below. I love you guys so, so much. Have a great rest of the day. Till next time, I'll see you guys later.